Happy birthday, Libra. And Happy New Year. Happy Rosh Hashanah to all my Jewish brothers and sisters. As I'm recording this, the moon is also in Libra. My Libra moon is happy. It's a very calming, soothing energy for me. Speaking for myself. We are working with the Spellcasters Tarot today. Let's see what your season has in store for you for my Libra. Truthful messages, guidance, clarity. For my Libra seekers, we are guided to watch this, please. Message for Libra. What does Libra need to know for this coming month, please? You're starting your reading with a bang. A death card. Something with the full moon might be prominent. Early October. Is it October 1st, the full moon? Ish. Your past is boiling to a point of no return. It is being gassed into the ethers, given to the full moon. By early October, you will be relieved and released from a lot of pent up some of you anger, some of you mental clogs I'm picking up, mental blockages. It's like there's been some sort of fog in your neurotransmitters, Libra, in your brain. Um, you're very smart, but it's almost like you're smarter than how smart you already are right now. and. It's because there's been some sort of fogginess blocking the uh, movement. Interesting. It's going to be phased out or unclogged. If this strikes a chord, set your intention for that. Right now, you have a new moon in Libra as I'm recording this. It's okay if you're watching this later. Energy is fluid. You can um, request the energy. But today will be a perfect day for that. Because the moon is waxing, growing. So set the intent on accelerating, clearing your blood vessels and the brain. and your neurotransmitters. You know what's interesting coming up? You know, take it or leave it. It's just in the kind of channeling that is coming up. Um, sometimes calcium gets blocked, gets clogged in blood vessels and it doesn't go to the bone and where it needs to go and it blocks the vital flow of the blood to organs could be in the brain um, that can sometimes be a cause of a lack in k2 vitamin you can find k2 in like green leaves and stuff like that but i would recommend if you resonate with this to take a supplement for k2 And turmeric. Turmeric is more focused on opening and cleansing the pineal gland, which is the physical expression of the brain to the third eye. Start now. Um, turmeric, put it in anything. You know, pasta sauce. I put it in my coffee. But it's best served 
pot. That's when its um, properties are best when you heat it up. So yeah, you can put it in your salad, but better off in what you're cooking or drinking hot. Okay, so this death card, I, I'm really drawn to this mask here on the ground. I'm picking up like layers being peeled off. Libra. You are very good at wearing the appropriate mask for the appropriate occasion. You're the diplomat. You know what to say, when to say. Um, but I'm picking up like an overlayer, something that you picked up somewhere and it's no longer fitting. It's just the force of a habit gets peeled off. I think it will be um, a side effect, a good side effect of whatever this thing that is being released to the ethers and unclogging you. Okay then. Are we free to continue with the reading? This is the reading. In case you're like, where's the rest of the tarot? This, like, seriously, you don't think this is a proper message? What do you want? Oh, you want me to tell you he's going to call you tomorrow and propose? And he's right around the corner kneeling? Okay. All right. This is not bypassing spirituality. This is spirituality, AKA truth. Hi. I don't kiss your ass for subscribes. I would love for you to subscribe, but because it's beneficial for you, not because I'm giving you the addictive hit that you need to sustain you in a toxic, low place. Welcome to the Existential Shift. If you're new, my name is Morgane. Aloha. Show me more, please, for Libra, for my Libra Seeker. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Intuitively Guided, Crosswatcher. Uh -huh. Seven of Cups. There is a lot of fog that is phasing out to make room for the mist. See, there's a difference between a fog and a mist. The mist hides the secrets of the universe. They feel comfortable there. It's part of their element that ethereal wisdom that can only be grasped by those with sight. As opposed to psychological karmic gunk that is just blocking your awareness. This is releasing fear, trauma, triggers, um, cycles, and accepting mysticism, wisdom. The fog clears room for the mist. I love that. How do you know the difference between a fog and a mist? Your 3D eye can't see clearly in any of them, but in the fog, you feel scared and numb. In the mist, you feel all buzzed up and excited, and you keep moving in the mist, even though you can't necessarily see what comes around the corner. Whatever it is, you're excited about it because you know it's an aspect of your spirit greeting you. Too many, too many, too many cards. Nope. I will take the three of wands because it's the only one that dropped facing up. 
it's almost like you're you're free to move on with your passion, desire, and mission and your path. You're just okay. Now I can keep walking. The cloud that was surrounding is just the night sky and the day sky are now clearer. And it's almost like you can communicate with the universe better because before this, everything you tried to communicate to the universe, be it prayer, manifestation, setting intent, it was all distorted by the fog. It, the universe brought you things that were almost like ironic manifestations, right? Where you're like, oh yeah, I asked that, but not, it, but not like that. This is, you know, it's almost like you feel like the devil is laughing every time he grants you a wish. You're like, I didn't talk to you, I talked to him or her. How did my desires reach you? How is it that you're granting me all these ironic, morbid, so-called wish fulfillments? It's not the divine that wanted to torture you. It's not even the devil that doesn't really exist. He's a manifestation of your fog as well. Don't blame him for being an image of something that you invented. Poor thing. He would rather be imagined as something sweet and loving. You created him. And now you're angry with him for creating him like that. But now you know, because your mind is clear. So when you wish for it, ask for it, pray for it, send it out to the ethers, it actually gets there. And the translation is accurate. It's translated by the mist and not by the fog. There's no language barrier because your heart also echoes the feeling and the intent of the words. So it can't be misunderstood. Ten of Swords. There are aspects in your brain, parts, cells, compartments, that have went through so much trauma that they just froze, went into dysfunction. They just, they're like, I can't, there's, there's a, a mechanism, a neurological mechanism to the human body where if the pain is so big, so, and explicitly, sorry, big, the body just stops with the pain neurons. It just doesn't feel pain. It stops. It just freezes. Because there's nothing that can be done against this pain, so it wants to help you avoid the agony. It's something, by the way, that lobsters don't have. It takes them way longer for that to happen. So when you throw them into a boiling pot of boiling water and they burn to death, it takes at least one minute until they die, during which they feel all of it. Their body does not shut down. Something to think about the next time you want to order a lobster. Also, they are extremely loyal creatures they don't leave a man behind they travel holding claws in groups big groups through the ocean and if a current if a strong current comes in and has one of them being dropped they will all literally circle back to pick him up yeah those are lobsters extremely intentful 
conscious beings that feel even more so than us. Anyway, so this happens to aspects of your brain. And it's okay. Let it rest. Some parts will wake up and some will stay restful throughout Libra season. The second phase of this process will happen towards Scorpio season going into end of October and into November. So give it three, four weeks from when I'm recording this. Knight of Pentacles. The process is certain. Trust it. It's happening in a pace that is safe for your system. Don't overload it. Don't pressure it to be like faster, sooner. Come on, we can do it. Be more clear. It's already undergoing the process. The seeds are already... So, now it needs care, watering, loving, patient attention. I'm not saying to abandon it and just wait for it to get up itself. Attend to it, but without pushing it. Be there, be receptive, it'll wake. Show me more for Libra, please. Wheel of Fortune, the Moon, and Four of Cups. Sorry for the sirens. Yeah, the full moon. And then the new moon in Scorpio it's basically really early October and around the last the beginning of the last third of October is going to be very inner emotionally due to extreme not extreme, but massive events in your reality. A lot of things are going to happen fast. And you're going to have to allow your brain and your psyche, the peace of mind, to process. So in the moments of quiet, where you can take a moment, practice your breathing, practice your focus, It's good stuff. I feel like Scorpio season, November, is going to bring a lot of changes. And this is like the preparation. Your spirit is preparing your brain. It's like, okay, brain, you've been doing this and that for long enough. Now you need to get back to full function, full clear function, because November is going to be a ride. So do the meditations, do the processing, do the rest, a lot of rest and sleep. The body does a lot of this work during sleep. Try to fall asleep earlier and wake up earlier. It's not necessarily a matter of quantity of hours of sleep as much as when you're sleeping. I know nighttime is gorgeous, but travel it with your spirit. It's more interesting than with the body. Go to sleep. Eight of Wands, yep. 
towards the end of the month, the end of October, things will start picking up really fast and you'll be ready. You will feel good. You will be well rested. The ships will come in or you will sail upon them. There will be little bits of um, hints and messages until then in regards to these things. It comes the last come the last third of October, Scorpio season. Things will really pick up. <laughs> Don't you just love it when they confirm uh, Knight of Wands? Some of you will be traveling, some of it will be by air, like flying somewhere. Um, some of you will have someone really, really passionate present themselves to you, or you'll be spending your time with someone really passionate where things happen really fast. They're very, this is fire, so very fiery energy. So it's going to be that. Possible visit. One last card to conclude. I will continue this reading. Um, here, I will pull a couple more cards. In the meantime, you can watch them. Now, I will continue this reading focusing on love in the extended. You can find the, it's a love extended. It's called a double pentagram where we look into you and your person of interest, your heart and your mind and heart space, their mind and heart space, the dynamic and how things unfold throughout the month. And we will finish up with messages from the roots. Okay. Um, and you can find it over on Patreon alongside all the other zodiac signs. So you can cross watch and watch all your placements. And there's other yummy goodies vip stuff extra content so i would love for you to join my patreon it's a monthly subscription that you can cancel anytime and i would love to see you there okay five of cups three of cups Someone is feeling left out. Okay. If you've been part of a third party situation or uh, involved with someone who's with you but not completely with you, also possibly with other people, maybe you're the one who's seeing other people and it's a little bit of a mishmash, then it's going to come to a head um, and into realization fully again from the 18th of October and on it will be very very clear in a way you won't be able to continue ignoring it if you had ignored it so far um, maybe because you saw through the fog and not through the mist so there was a level of self-deceit possibly but It will be very, very, very clear. The situation will be very clear. So open your eyes now and open your heart now. And look, make whatever choice you want to make as long as it comes from a place that you know where you stand. Right? If you're not lying to yourself and you know where you stand and you still choose, that, you know, you do you, boo, right? But you got to be honest with yourself. There might be an event where a lot of where you're, you're a gathering where people are drinking um, and you're feeling like you you can't be a part of the celebration. Maybe you're the designated driver. It could literally just be as simple as that. But Something about that makes you feel a little left out. 
I don't know. It feels like something small that is coming up, not a big deal. Okay, I will continue this in the extended. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Happy birthday once again. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and press the bell button to receive notifications. If you're already subscribed, try to press the bell button and you're not receiving notifications. Try to unsubscribe and subscribe again. Sometimes the system's just the system just needs uh, refreshing. Um, watch your other placements. Check out Tarot Masterclass to study Tarot, the Bunkai, the interpretations, and the secret layers and applications of the Tarot. It's such a vast world. Link below. It leads you to Vimeo.